to me this is life's work this is the most important part this is where we need to start to build strong young leaders almost everyone has described to me a feeling of lightness and relief and empowerment after sharing their story so what we want are for the women to have the right license so they can drive safely in New Zealand road we give significant experiences to young women to provide them with networking opportunities and to also provide intergenerational support. Indigenous voices are they're critical to the future landscape of Aotearoa, they're critical to our global community and we need to hear and, and see these stories. I'm interviewing and photographing stay-at-home dads and their children to try and promote and then normalise the idea that either parent can stay at home. It's a talk that goes into schools for year 7, 8, 9, 10 girls and it helps equip them with smarts and how to see through the big media and beauty industry that's coming out to their confidence. My project is to build, energise and diversify the membership and activity of National Council of Women in all countries. The outcomes for the families that we support, we're wanting them to feel more confident to have these rich conversations with their children. These are pathways to employment for the coaches to empower their community. When you design a city with women or your most vulnerable people in mind, you design a city that works well for everyone. With Auckland Women's Centre, the youth project um, works directly with high schools in Tamaki Makaurau to support the establishment of intersectional feminist clubs. Tamaki Preschool will be looking at ways that we can empower our women in our community. Journey alongside our teachers as they realise their dreams through education. We need to have sustained youth empowerment to be able to break the cycles of intergenerational family violence. Eating together and sharing stories can build relationships and it can create more diverse, inclusive and welcoming communities. So Spinners believes that every girl has a right to an education without shame or embarrassment. Spinners education pads are so much of these girls. We hope that the campus sort of find a place with us where they can grow and be accepted as individuals, um, sort of gain some confidence to know like what they can do and like they can do whatever they want. There's some real power in intergenerational connections and um, yeah, so that's what my mentoring is doing. Empowering teenage girls uh, to be, so that they could be free of prejudice and have the tools to know how to deal with it and just get on and live their lives. Everybody can heal themselves, can become more aware and realise their own beauty. The main outcome was to remind women they're not alone, um, to take each day as it comes. Um, that some days will be hard but to keep going. I want them to feel that they're supported and that they're able to speak out about this and feel proud of their bodies, feel proud of who they are no matter what they look like. What I am most proud of, I'm always stoked to see the eyes of women light up upon completion of a product and learning something new. People actually wait for my events every year and know that they could rely on me to hold events which are, you know, which they could feel accepted in and comfortable in their own skin. So we're a Fano of people, and there are women that I've walked alongside and supported uh, who are now aunties as well and give time and money. That's what I'm proudest of, is that this thing is now circular.